Hello there, Dwayne Lesner from the technical marketing team at Nutanix. I want to show you today how easy it is to get your Nutanix cluster in AWS set up to provide native AWS IPs. So before we get started, let's take a look at some of the requirements. Just a couple network requirements. We want to ensure that we're not using or deploying virtual machines to the private subnet in which our cluster is using in AWS. We want to also ensure that user VM subnets are not shared between different Nutanix clusters. Also, the user VM subnet needs to be in the same AZ as your Nutanix cluster. Overall, uh, HV IPAM is managing those IPs and that's kind of the reason for these requirements. And we also want to point out that IPv version 4 is only supported. Uh, as far as getting the work done, we're going to first create the subnet in AWS and then we'll jump into our already deployed Nutanix cluster inside of Prism Element and uh, deploy the same subnet using the exact same networking uh, configuration. Let's go get it done. We're inside of the clusters portal. We have two clusters um, already deployed. We're focusing on the cloud first cluster, which is up and running. If we take a look at it, uh, from a UI standpoint, we're at the network configuration menu. If we look at the home screen, we see that it's the exact same as an on-prem cluster, except we do now have some AWS hardware. We want to use native AWS networking to provide native IPs. So if we go into the subnets tab within our region where the cluster is deployed, uh, we see we have a variety of subnets already configured. And so we're going to create a new subnet in the same VPC as our cluster. We need to deploy into the same VPC and also the same AZ as our cluster is currently deployed in. And so here now we can just pick a free range that is not already in use. So this subnet is free. We will go create this inside of AWS. Once we have that subnet created, we can go back into our cluster, go to network configuration, and add the cluster. The names actually don't have to match, but it is going to make things a lot easier as you continue to deploy clusters in your environment. As long as the CIDR information is the exact same as in AWS, uh, we will pick it up. And so it does need to be a managed network. Hit save. And now our cluster has a network that we can deploy virtual machines to. As soon as we create a virtual machine, it's going to grab an IP from this subnet and be able to talk to any other AWS service. Now that we have the networking configured on our cluster in AWS, we can deploy virtual machines natively onto the cluster, or we can start replicating them using data protection. We could use Nutanix Move, or we could use our Leap, which is our DR orchestration product to move our virtual machines onto our clusters and get to work. Thanks for watching.